What is up, ladies and gentlemen? We are on to day number 21 of Autodesk Fusion. Uh, today we're working on threads and how we can automatically produce, not automatically, but very quickly produce some of that geometry and, and have it modeled for us. It used to be pretty difficult to do in um, Inventor, and you could download some extensions like uh, Cool Orange, I believe, but um, it turns out to be that um, Fusion will do this actually pretty easily. So what I got here is I have, I made a bolt and a matching nut for it as well. And this actually wasn't too hard to do just using that thread command. So what I'm going to do is, the first thing I'm going to do is create my bolt. Now I'm going to do polygon. And I just want the outside diameter of this bolt to be something reasonable. Um, 10 millimeter seems to be something I always need. So 10 millimeter bolt, that's what we're making today. All right. Go ahead and hit finish sketch, and we're going to extrude this out. Now, the thickness of this bolt um, could be anywhere from five millimeters if it's a small bolt to, to a whole centimeter. And so, just for the sake of ease, I'm going to do uh, one full uh, centimeter for that. Now, what I'm going to do is uh, create a new sketch on this plane, and I'm just going to um, add in a circle. Now, this circle is not really too important. Um, all it does is it makes sure that the hole I'm looking for in this is going to be centered on my piece. Um, so what I'm going to do is now I'm gonna click down on Create and then click on Thread. We're going to thread this face right here. Oh, I forgot to extrude that piece. So we're going to extrude this down, make sure it's a cut, call it done, and then Create, Thread, Thread that hole. So you have to create the hole first. On the right side here, you notice there's a little tick mark here, and it's going to say modeled. So we're actually going to click this, and this will then create that 3D geometry where it will model my threads for me. Um, so it's really, really helpful and really easy. I'm going to go ahead and just stick with a, um, let's do a 10 millimeter size and 1.5, and then call it done. All right, cool. We have our nut. Now let's go ahead and create a matching bolt for it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Construct, Offset Plane. I'm going to find this plane that allows me to um, offset easily. If I just click this face right here, I should be able to make an offset plane. All right, I'm going to do the same thing I did earlier. I'm going to create a bolt head, but I'm going to use Project. Right, So that way I know my geometry is exactly the same as the matching nut. So I'm going to finish sketch. Let's go ahead and extrude this whole shape out just a little bit. Let's do one centimeter as well, just for the sake of making this look pronounced. And then I'm going to create a new sketch on this bottom side, and that's where I'm going to make my thread. So we're going to slice this so I can easily see what's going on here. If we don't slice, um, some things might be in your way. Uh, but by clicking on slice, we're able to get whatever might be in our way, whatever be a geometry or uh, a sketch, we're able to see that pretty easily. I'm going to go ahead and just like earlier, it doesn't really matter what the size of this uh, extrusion is going to be because when we thread it, we can change those uh, parameters. I'm going to go ahead and click on Create, Thread, and then I'm going to thread what we just did. Now, if I don't click on Modeled, it just creates a, a surface texture to where it looks like it's a thread, but we still want to um, make this a usable uh, bolt. So I'm going to do is uh, click on Modeled, and then the size is going to be 10 again with 1.5, and so both of these have matched with each other. Click OK, and we are done. So now I've got a matching bolt with a matching nut. Both of those measured out to 10 millimeters because it seems like every time I work on my car, I need a 10 millimeter bolt or a 10 millimeter socket for a 10 millimeter bolt. All right, guys, that will be it for today's video. Hopefully this was helpful and um, just showing you how thread works. You can do the threads inside and outside certain geometries. All right, guys, that'll be it for us today and I will catch you on the next video.